I'm June Pagan, and you're in the Occupy Your Palate cookbook test kitchen. I'm preparing for you a green soup. It's a zucchini leek soup, and I'm going to show you how simple it is to make. I'm going to start with a medium-sized pot on a low flame. I'm going to add two tablespoons of unsalted butter. You could also use ghee if you happen to have it. A couple of tablespoons of ghee about a tablespoon of a good quality virgin olive oil. I'm using Nuvo, my favorite. And to this soup, I'm going to add grapeseed oil, a Chardonnay grapeseed oil from Sonoma. This is a functional food, and I'm going to add just a touch of it, about a teaspoon, to the olive oil mixture. Once I get that up to a medium heat and the butter is melted, I'm going to add fresh chopped leeks. One cup of fresh chopped leeks. I bought these at the farmer's market. I try to buy all of my produce at the farmer's market. You support local farmers and you get high quality produce. Fresh picked. So now I have my leeks. I'm going to let the leeks cook for about two to three minutes to soften up just slightly. Okay, I've let the leek cook for about three minutes, and now I'm going to add two full cups of chopped zucchini, cleaned and chopped. I'm going to cook this mixture for another two to three minutes. Okay, it's been three minutes. At this point, I'm going to add one cup of chopped russet potato. You can use any type of white potato. You could use a red skin potato, new potato, new con potato. The potato acts as a thickening medium for when we puree the soup so that it turns into a bisque. I am now adding two cups of a vegetable broth that is called not chicken. It has the flavor of chicken, but it's a vegan broth. This is a wonderful product. It's very clean. You can keep it in your pantry for a long time. It's dry, so it, it has a long shelf life, and it's vegan, so it's delicious. I'm going to let the soup simmer for 20 to 25 minutes, and then I'm going to come back to puree it. I let the zucchini and leek soup cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. It's very tender. I'm going to add it now to a Vitamix. You don't need to use a Vitamix. You could use a blender. I'm going to add the mixture to the Vitamix or to a blender. And I'm going to start blending it on low. Way blended. Up. And I'm going to thin the soup out with a non dairy cream. I'm using coconut milk. I'm going to taste the mixture now because I haven't added any salt. There's salt in the bouillon. I can use a touch of salt. I'm going to be using bamboo salt because it's the same color as the soup. It's a green salt. So I'm going to add about a third of a teaspoon of salt, but you can adjust the salt to your own taste. Taste it again. Okay, I'm going to serve it directly into a bowl. Look at the beautiful color. It's a magnificent color. I'm going to garnish this dish with flowers of the cilantro. This is actual cilantro that has flowered. Just a little touch of the edible cilantro flower. And that's it. 
Thank you for joining me. And remember, eating well is a right, not a privilege. Thank you.